I, that, mean, it's I, so I, weird. I think it's we can like, learn a thing or two about that, that fandom, you know? Yeah, it's it's like, like, I, I, I don't know, like, it totally puts it over, uh, like, it puts it on its head, because it's like, normally you idolize the best or the perfect uh, performers or the ones who bring the best performance. Yeah. But then, like, for them to like the one who doesn't do that, or doesn't fit the mold of the mainstream he also seemed, idol. He also seemed more approachable, you know? Hello and welcome everybody to another episode of Jobless Weaves with, uh, oh well, episode 62. 62. That's right. With me, myself and I, Brian, and Mark of the Big One Mexican. That's right. And we hope that this episode finds you well. The summer is almost officially ending, but uh, we wanted to kind of get a jump start on uh, looking at this past season. But with that, how have you been lately? Doing great. Uh, been kind of exhausted mentally. I'm, you could say I'm actually now working as an engineer. <sighs> Congrats! Nice, nice. Yeah, th th and at the Pretty same cool. time, it feels like I'm working as an engineer. It's like, oh, uh, yep. I have no idea what to do. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! So, no idea what I'm doing. Yep, yep. So I've, I've been spending. <laughs> I, I think I, uh, in the project that I'm working on right now, I think in this past week I've learned a lot more <laughs> in that topic of what I've learned. Ah. in all my time during college really okay wow but, uh, it's been great experience yeah. kind of like my, my mentors and you know all, all the other experienced engineers have been very supportive and <laughs> kind of like yeah these are not the kind of things you you learn in school so mm -hmm. uh yeah that, that's been really great and nice. i kind of like have a had to follow kind of like now but oh, it's nice. it feels like yeah whoa yeah so uh, yeah, yeah it, it's 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 been great so far i like That's it awesome. uh That's what about you yeah well uh it's been it's been an all right week my schedule changed once again so i go in a little bit earlier so i get off earlier which i really appreciate i really like having some uninterrupted time in my life in in any given day which is really nice for me i think um uh so yeah i've been getting used to that and then hopefully well learning some more stuff so i can continue with my life hopefully well yeah and just like get better at life hopefully let's uh Hopefully life gets better, <laughs> so right <laughs> as we all hope. But yeah, um, I'm actually volunteering for the Fanex convention, so hopefully that works out, and I'm actually there. So hopefully that is all right uh, with me that it turns out well. <laughs> nice. That's yep. Yeah. Two weeks from now. That's right. And yeah. Pretty much one soon. week from this episode when when it comes out. Exactly. Yep. So like yeah, this would be. I want to go there. Oh, you I do. Want to cosplay? Oh, okay. Yeah. I may or may not cosplay. Oh man, that'd be and exciting. The cosplay. That'd be really cool. It's a surprise right now. Okay. So okay. That's under wraps. The awesome. one that I want to do, I'm kind of hesitant. Yep. But um, I'll, I'll see because it's like okay. it's gonna be a really controversial one. Okay, okay, so, we'll definitely have to so wait I, I for have, that. I then. have other options, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I I might just go one one day. Yeah. Are, are you so, in like the three days or? Oh right, so um, not not the entire time, uh, but I should have. Well, I probably won't be able to say too much more as. Uh, just a volunteer i i don't know like all the details but i think i will be there with some free time okay yeah yeah so hopefully uh that does work out i might i might see you then yeah yeah if yeah. well if if we do both go there i'm i'll have to i'll have to uh, reach out to you and meet up yeah that'd be I, really cool i would love to make a yeah 
at least one or two videos, if possible. If not, it's like mm -hmm. it, it would be uh, a good time for me to relax. So exactly, exactly. Yeah. And with that being said, we do have a very particular anime show today to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of work and and uh, doing our best. <laughs> It's really, really, it's a really funny anime, and it's called Kami Kuzu Idol, which is Phantom of the Idol, which just ended for the first season recently uh, for this past season. So it's kind of the treat to have a short uh, anime once in a while. It that, is. That yeah, finishes. it's only like 10 episodes. Yeah. I thought that the show was great. It was it one was. of... One of those uh, that pretty much went like below the radar for yeah. a lot of people, but yeah, that was one of the ones that kind of like, catch my attention from the beginning, mm -hmm. from from like the what we will be watching on summer. Oh yes, I'm pretty sure that's one of the ones that I mentioned. Is like yeah, you know, I, I, I want to watch about. that because like the plot itself seemed pretty similar. To another anime that oh. that I've watched before. Oh yes, that's right. the the name of the anime. It's uh, Gimban Kaleidoscope. Mm -hmm. That anime is from early two thousands, uh, I believe, mm. and it it's not exactly the same because this anime it's um, ice skating one. Okay, and the one that it's kind of like a phantom. It's yeah. it's the boy. It's not the girl. So okay. yeah, it kind of like okay. brought me memories because uh, I those that anime was one of the first ones that I watched when I oh when I started like looking more into anime. Oh okay okay. So I, yeah. I found it by chance. I was like, yeah, I like this one. Oh yeah. Like, like watching Phantom of the Idol, work like uh, I, you know, uh. felt kind of like that, like Ratatouille, uh, Ratatouille. Oh, meme. the nostalgia! <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> like a familiar taste. Yeah, but it's new. Yeah, I like that. That's awesome. Yeah. D uh, did you see a lot of similar similarities then? Um, uh, the gen the gender um roles were swapped though. No, not really. Kind of like the essence was there. You know, like ah. Uh. uh because in this one we have uh, an, a male idol, yeah, and we have uh, a female phantom, and but she she's a former idol. Oh yeah. In this in this anime that I'm talking about, uh, the girl is kind of like a semi professional mm -hmm. um, ice skater for like artistic ice skating, mm -hmm. and the boy, the phantom, he is a pilot. But oh. he died in an accident, and somehow he ended up uh, in the body of the girl. Oh, so, okay. so you cannot see him. Mm -hmm. I think I think you can see him until the very last episode. I don't quite remember. Okay, okay. So you cannot see mm -hmm. him, but he interacts a lot with the girl, and mm -hmm. he helps the girl, uh, you know, like have the character development grow ah. uh, as a person. Because yeah. the girl is just a brat. Okay. Okay. And so gotcha. this guy like helps her like with language and how to how to behave. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the of the anime, I think she wins like the competition, Whoa. but at the same time, the boy leaves. It's because oh. um I think he had like a period of time before like uh I think I remember now. In order for for him to go to heaven, yeah. he had to 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 help someone in in a way. Okay, pretty classic scenario. Yeah. with that idea. Yeah, and then like he, he helped he helped the girl. Uh, yeah, the, it was kind of a uh, bittersweet because they kind of like fall in love. Oh, mm, or or okay. like they reach a point in their relationship where they like. They're not lovers, but yeah. they really trust each other and okay, they're like gotcha. a really uh, good relationship. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't really know how to put it. Like they were oh, not yeah. friends, they were not lovers, mm -hmm. but th there was that that point where where they 
they were kind of like soulmates. Oh. Not, not in a romantic way, but they mm -hmm. were soulmates. Good way to put it. I see. And so at, at the end, he's like, hey, gotta go. The girl is sad and everything. But he's like, <sighs> you got this girl. And so he leaves and the girl continues like, oh, oh man. Like that was one Seriously. of the few ones that I cried. I was like, I yeah. can't believe an anime is making no me cry. Oh, and they're like, well, that's pretty incredible. 10 animes later. <laughs> like I know Hannah, I'm like oh my god, by whatever garden, like, oh yeah, I wanted you. I wanted. Like, oh my gosh, <laughs> so yep, well. yep. Your line, April. Yeah. Oh yeah, all of those. Wow. Okay. Was it a pretty big one? It was like just a season or two? Ah, uh, let me check. It was just one season. Oh, okay. Um, that definitely and sounds. It's twelve episodes. Oh, okay. Twelve. Oh, okay. Pretty. A pretty. Uh, Pretty short one too. Then just the one season. Uh, it sounds fairly similar, actually, uh, to um, yeah, Phantom of the Idol. Yeah, well, the Game and Kaleidoscope. It's I yeah. think she's like fifteen or sixteen years, okay. which still is classified as uh, shoujo, essentially. Yes. Yeah, uh, and in the character des design for Game and Kaleidoscope, you can okay. still see, you know, like the early two thousand ah, yeah. shoujo style, mm -hmm. kind of like really yeah, sharp, really. like hair, ah, big yeah. eyes, heavy like, lines, yeah, heavy oh, yeah. Uh, and sharp uh, facial features. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, like kind of like kind of like tall and skinny. Yeah, mm -hmm. that kind of for the character. Design. Yeah, that kind of character design. Yeah. Moving on to uh, Phantom Ooh. of the Idol. Ooh, yes. This one mm -hmm. is safe to assume that it's a seinen. I would say so. Yes, because we get we get the uh, male idols who are kind of approaching middle age. Uh, I believe. I, I think they mentioned was their age. Twenty eight. But, but he was like, yeah, he was somewhere in his twenties, right? Yeah. I, yes, in the twenties. Which. Yeah. Which, uh, which is, I mean, for for idols. Yeah, I mean, I've have never gone to Japan, mm -hmm. but but it's like, yeah, you know what? I can see, uh, or, or like BTS, oh, they're, sure. they're not in their teenagers; they, they're right. in their twenties at yeah. least. Yeah, they are. Yeah, I, I mean, I and haven't gone into the specifics, but it's like, oh sure, they're sure. not teenagers. But yeah, yeah, <laughs> they're like they're like they're like the male idols that come to your mind, right? Who are probably approaching middle age. Right. And so yeah, Phantom the Phantom of the Idol, uh this character, he is kind of like this seinen um run of the mill uh middle aged guy. Yeah. Uh, he, kinda like Uruchimar uh, uh Ura. Uramichi. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I wasn't gonna I was gonna say that. You were, like, okay, it reminded okay. me of Uramichi Ura Sam, but just like in the idol version. Exactly. Instead of a, yeah. Instead of a TV host. For kids show. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Super similar personalities. So uh, this guy, Yuya Nioto, he is an idol who's in the business, in the job, basically, just for the money. He wants to have an easy life, is kind of how he puts it. Uh, for him... He is in this idol business uh, just for that, but he is also paired with another idol, Yoshino. Yeah, Yoshino. And he's more of like the younger, or at least like in in the pair of them, he's the younger guy. He's the blonde, um, kind of like younger looking. He's like a puppy. idol. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, he's a he's a puppy type of idol who. Um, the women just adore it because of his cute appearance. Yeah. And so uh, compared to Nioto, he gets more of like the middle-aged women who are kind of like, oh my gosh, we'll talk about them too, but they're like, <laughs> they're like um, eccentric <laughs> idols. That, that's so, yes, the word. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, Nioto, he is uh, an idol who kind of like is, he's not quite down on his luck, kind of like San. Uh, Uramichi? Uh, oh. Yeah, Uramichi-san. So he's not like down on his luck like him or like 
depressed with his life a lot of time. Uh, this character, he's more just like, he doesn't want to be bothered. He doesn't want to live a, a life with like too many demands. He just wants an easy life. Yeah, kind of like, uh, he doesn't really want to put an effort. Exactly. That, that's it. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, unlike Uramichi Onisan, it's like, yeah. he's not depressed or or anything. He's like, right. Hates his job or, or what. Yeah, it seems like yeah. he's just lazy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, I would say also it is more like a Seinen type of anime where it is, where it does uh, address some of those things about life, but then he gets haunted slash possessed by uh by another idol uh a girl Asaki. yep yeah and she's literally just a ghost <laughs> yeah oh my so yeah uh, so that's why uh, it's called phantom of the idol so yeah th it does have a lot of similarities to that other uh older anime um in this one she was an amazing idol when she was alive tons of tons of fans she was like in the prime of her uh performing but she dies from a it was a car accident, well it was yeah it was a car accident and she uh, she's rushed to the hospital but then yeah she ends up dying but she stays around the uh, backstage of the performance hall because she kind of regretted dying when she still wanted to be an idol. Uh, yeah. She loved being an idol. She was like the best. She was like always being cheerful and being there for the fans. Yeah. I, yeah. Pure, a pure idol. Yeah. I, I found her behavior mm -hmm. something that I would like to call as the love life ah, yes. a mindset. Yes, like, idols are the best. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, <laughs> and, like, and it's love super life. fun, and they shine, and we're yeah. super happy. It's like yeah, oh, that's, yeah. that's the, the love life. Like that's the love life mindset. <laughs> it is. It really is. Yeah, and and yeah, and and I think that's also what kind of uh kind of like drew me towards this show was because it was an idol one, but kind of a different uh, setup for an idol anime with the two male characters who are the performers and then the phantom or the ghost was like behind the scenes. But then every time she possesses Miyoto, he, he totally changes in personality <laughs> and the way he, he performs, but it's her possessing his body. <laughs> Which is really, really funny. I love it. <laughs> and you, you know, that was kind of like one of the things that yeah. I really like because the way they portrayed Nioto, it's always with yeah. with blue, dark colors. Ooh, that yes. Just straight up tells you like that guy doesn't want to be there. He would rather yep. be sleeping. Yep. <laughs> but whenever like uh, Asahi is, Ooh, yeah. It's, uh, uh, inside him mm. and taking control of the body, oh, yes. it's always this yellowish, pinkish, oh, yeah. bright colors. He, yep, his cheeks are like, flushed. Like oh, yeah. Facial features also mm -hmm. change because, like, he always has like these dead fish <laughs> eyes. Oh, yeah. With, with the literal lines like going for the dark circles around his yeah. eyes exactly <laughs> yep. and whenever she also, she's in control he, uh, like <laughs> yeah his posture changes yep. like it Perks also kind of like kind of like seems oh, yeah. that the hairline also changes a bit mm -hmm. and like facial features is like even his voice changes oh yes is yep the the way he always talks like uh like a really bass yeah. Uh, sound yeah very low very low energy it was it was a very unique way of talking, I think, too, for the voice acting, because it was like a very low, almost open type of yeah. Talking. And, and yeah. whenever she's mm -hmm. behind the wheel, mm -hmm. it's like a little smoother, a little high 
speech, but yeah. still a male. Oh, like, yes, yeah. I don't know how this is going to come out, but kind of like uh, a bit of a uh, effeminate voice. Sure, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, and it, it makes sense, because, I mean, the oh, one yeah. on control of the body is a girl, so... Right, yeah, she's like, <laughs> like she's I, in I don't control. Really, I don't really expect, and I really mm. like the voice acting in that, because, like, yeah, I don't really expect Ooh, yeah. a girl to know how to speak like, like a boy. At the same time that I... That I not I I'm not really expecting like a boy to speak like a girl, right? Exactly. So, so they can like nail so that it, part. Yeah, because it it like it transforms the the voice for that absolutely. Oh, and so cool. and that was yeah. known throughout the anime as oh, yeah. the God Mode. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh yes. Oh, that was hilarious because the fans they. Notice whenever the the girl idol Asahi possesses him, basically. So they <laughs> they pick up on that whenever it does change. They call yeah God mode. It's like and it, but they and, just and think it's that, like, like oh what he, lottery he awakened mode to be an idol <laughs> right. <laughs> so the fans like love him even more for that because they liked him before uh like he's gloomy that yeah they loved him for just him being him being gloomy and and low-key all the time <laughs> and they are so funny so um with with like the plot itself it does transform and we see the characters develop uh, throughout the anime um though it is kind of an interesting one because it isn't like a huge plot it isn't like a yeah. story because of the story that it needs to tell. It's more of that like character development, almost interaction, I would say, though, because it's not really even about the character development, even though it is about the two of them learning how to be an idol, um, him allowing her to kind of like work through him letting her stay an idol even though she is just a ghost yeah and basically at the same dead. time him at taking the, advantage yeah. of like not doing anything exactly or, or at least his persona not doing anything even if that right means right that his body that has to though, go through exactly <laughs> and so and so he does get tired like after the fact um after the fact that she uses his body, he'll feel that tiredness. Yeah, but he's like, but he's like, I didn't do anything, so. Yeah, he's all good. <laughs> he would rather have her take care of the body for him, like performing too much of a drag. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and then vice versa. Uh, she wants to stay as an idol. And so she kind of like, at first tries to push on her desire of being an idol continuing to be yeah. an idol continuing to have fans especially so yeah, she, that's she why sees she... him as kind of like a savior like some sort of hero but yeah he's just the dirtbag that is pushing <laughs> his work to others like, yep yep but she's okay with it like, she a, a, as long as he can idol. enjoy you know the the rewards yeah. of his labor mm -hmm. by mm -hmm. not doing any labor <laughs> Right. He's all good with that. He's like, He's all good. you know what? I'm gonna support your dream of still being an idol. right. So He's like, use my body. Like, and so use my body. It's like that way. I will have to do it directly. I will, like, exactly. Yep. Anyway, so funny. He's it's a like, dirtbag. I get dirt the bag. feeling. I would do the same, but he's <laughs> he really is. Uh, the narrator. It, the narrator also has like a little bit of a presence not as much as some shows that we've seen uh but yeah in the first like couple episodes he says this this guy he is a dirtbag like, he's a jerk he's like <laughs> uh, yeah so funny oh but then um so yeah i would say the character development is probably the most important part of like the story that takes place especially with like how they change uh, in their relationship um but of course the fans are a huge part of it yeah there are three and maybe a couple others who are a big part of that oh and then of course the manager uh kind of like the boss of the two idols uh 
Uh, let's see here. That is so. Yeah, it is Hitomi Shin Shinano. So the manager, she loves telling them what to do, of course. <laughs> but yeah, she's kind of like um, I would describe her as like a middle aged woman who wants them to like do their work well, and so like she tells them. Uh, what they're going to do and like manage them manages them normally of course yeah. uh, with that of course the three fans are super super extremely yeah, but, important yeah, but, I would say they make the show those three like, fans carry so the show like yeah one of the reasons why I kept watching the show was mm -hmm. for the final like uh, minute or two scenes oh yeah of them with just like the, in the isakaya shot. and uh -huh. talking about how much they love niyoto kun and <laughs> and like and how how they yeah. how much happiness they experience just by seeing him in oh, the concert yes. they are true fans like they truly are fans in the sense of they idolize their well yeah, yeah they're they, idol they work kind of like the comic relief and the, the comic re oh yeah exactly like, yeah niyoto his type yeah. of comedy was really serious, and I like. Oh that, yes, yeah. it, it was kind of like Stream, heavy because yeah. most of the time he's like, "Yeah, I, I really don't want to do that." And right, and the other girl was, um, Asahi-san was like, yeah, super hyper and yeah, energetic type of yeah. So, comic so, relief, so they were kind of like the buffer mm -hmm. of like, you know what? Let's just have these fans go crazy <laughs> yep. they're gonna be the comic relief they, oh, they were. oh yes I, I love when when <laughs> when they were like uh dressed as like a uh, cape girls i guess <laughs> oh that certain scene <laughs> when, oh yes they were taking, i like, remember yeah like, because yeah, that's probably when the fan base are <laughs> a bit primitive and they're like primitive yeah huh? <laughs> that, i do remember the part oh that was so funny because it was them to the to a T. Uh, that was the episode when we get introduced to the the seagrass fan, and she's like the fourth addition to this pub uh, gathering where they talk about their idols. So yeah, <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh, I I hope we can show that particular yes. scene, maybe like a photo. But yeah, I loved it. Yeah. Um, come, come like there, there. Oh, go ahead. Oh yeah, uh, I was gonna say they're kind of like their spiritual leader or like their energetic uh, fan of that group. I would say is uh, Kasun Kasunjiki. Oh, I, her uh, with the, the green hair, like yeah, with the, the one green that has like and the some... band and the light sticks. <laughs> that was so funny, which is nice because. The light sticks they represent uh, both the idols, uh, Yushino and Nyoto. So she's she's a great fan. But the three of them, when they're in the the venues for uh, the concerts, she holds up the purple light sticks, which is for Nyoto. So yeah, the three of them are Nyoto diehard fans. Yeah, they are they are eccentric. Um, I mean. I don't know both, how else to, both fan base for yeah. Yoro and Ooh, yes, Yoshino. for Yoshino are Ooh. quite eccentric and <laughs> right, there are right. a, few, a few episodes like down the middle mm -hmm. where they like kind of like have this battle and there's oh, this new yeah. fan and and she's like yes. what the heck is happening here yes. with those guys <laughs> because it's the it's the kind of like a meet and greet right it's the meet and greet and they have the rock paper scissors tournament to to whoever wins gets to yeah, get a picture with their even idol. That the picture oh, of so that tournament hilarious. was like it kind of remind oh me gosh. of of uh, like the alamo like those uh our pennies from the alamo do you remember like how george no it's not the alamo it's um oh that one picture where George Washington is cr crossing the Delaware oh oh that oh, kind yes, of style. Yes, yes. okay like, okay yes it was what <laughs> And, oh, and you see that girl oh, oh, oh. like being victorious. Oh, that's right. They did, that's right. Oh my gosh. It's yeah. pretty funny. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, oh my goodness. So like this anime, mm -hmm. it's 
it's so great about that. I, it is, I think it we is. haven't touched the yeah. elephant in the room. Yeah. So the only elephant in the room, and mm -hmm. the reason why you would probably be put off by this anime, mm -hmm. but if you can ah. has a threshold, uh -huh. then you're in for, a, for an excellent show. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah. And it's the animation with the socks. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Because it changes to more of a CGI stiff. It's... Um, um, it's a Berserk yeah, style CGI. Yeah. Kind of like, unfortunately. And, and yeah. Berserk style, I'm talking like Berserk, like 2014, was it? Like 2012, something like that? Yeah, that that uh, one. Yeah, I do remember yeah, that. Yeah, because I, I mean, uh, if, if you are comparing well, the CGI to like the CGI from, from Love Live, let's say, right. you don't okay. even notice the CGI anymore with. Yeah. With Love Life. Oh yeah, Love Life. It's great. I I like the CGI because because we're, we're talking about specifically when the songs yes are being presented when, when, in they're, when they're in form. their in their concert pretty mm -hmm. much mm -hmm. and yeah. it, it it looks and once again this is just my humble opinion because uh -huh. I know how hard that is. I'm just right. So, so it's like. If you yeah. were to tell me, like, like, if you could do a better job, nope. Oh, sure, sure, But sure. I can express my opinion. <laughs> sure, 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 yeah. Yeah, in comparison, yeah. At the very least. So, so it's like, yeah, I, I know that that's hard, but, um, yeah. but yeah, the, the animation with the songs, uh -huh. it's really bad. You will ignore it after a few episodes. It's like, yeah, it still kind of sounds, kind of, yeah. like, looks really bad, but... At least, like, the characters dancing were good. I love the music, too. Yeah. All the songs were it, great. Oh, yes. Yeah, I, I would agree. Um, the, yeah, the, for me, the CGI, it was just... It seemed just stiff to me, I think. Okay. Especially, well, the arms. The arm movement it never seemed really, like, natural. Okay. It, yeah. it seemed like there were cool movements, and I've seen, of course, real uh, idol performances, uh, male um, idol groups like dancing and stuff. So the dancing in the anime, the choreography, it's pretty okay. Uh, but yeah, it just seemed the CGI itself. It could be jarring. That's what yeah. I would say, at least for me. Uh, yeah, the songs incredible. Uh, the the very end, the very end, the finale episode, episode ten. Uh, we get to see the, well. Yeah, I would say that one. We get to see the most the most songs, um, but of course, a lot yeah. of them are sprinkled actually, throughout actually, the anime. Actually, the last episode was where I had almost no complaints with the sheets with the CGI in comparison. Yeah. I thought that. You kind they of didn't like, improve it by by yeah. the last episode. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah. So like, if they burn all their budget just for for episode ten and don't have yeah. episode eleven and twelve, it's like I can live with that. Yeah, I yeah I I liked the ending. I thought it was pretty well wrapped up uh, with the thought uh, with the songs. I do like the ending songs. It was all fresh every. Every ending song was different, so I really, really appreciated that. I liked the, um, I think it was the Sweet Pharmacy oh. Idol group with the three I, girls. Yeah, I oh I I liked that ending song, and it was pretty fun seeing the other different idol groups like interacting. It was their group and the Seagrass group. Um, yeah, I really liked uh, the In and Out song i thought that was pretty fun for oh, um for yeah for uh, uh the two male idols but yes uh sweet pharmacy was very funny <laughs> their their song was good yeah so we did talk about the cgi it could be jarring uh, once again um and then the the character development, the character development. Yeah, yeah i want to touch upon that again because we do see that change with their attitudes. Because um, the story continues, of course, with them trying to be idols, 
and the fans are like loving it and whatnot. They have meets and stuff, but then Asahi and Miyoto, they talk quite a bit as they continue on. And the second anniversary uh, perf- performance, that concert, is that, that, really that's, where the that's character That's the goal, development. pretty much, of the Ex- anime. Is like, exactly. Yeah, you have a concert, mm-hmm. your second anniversary mm-hmm. uh, concert. Yeah. And you will be in this venue. It's yeah. It's going to be a huge one. Mm-hmm. So make sure you sell the tickets. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yep. And so, like, they're promoting, they're doing all these things with, like, the calendar shoot and the meet and greets. And uh, with the uh, second anniversary, that's when Nyoto kind of re- reflects what he's done. He kind of reflects on what Asahi uh, Asahi. Is, Asahi is, like, doing for him. Uh, so yeah, the character development, I would say, shines the most right in those few episodes. Yeah, yeah. I kind of like want to go kind of like philosophical in this because yeah, there is one character mm-hmm. that, uh, oh, he, would it be, uh, yeah, yeah, so, 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 yeah, so, so Tuchi Kun. Tuchi Kun, yes, he, he is really the he, he's like the vocalist of yeah. Seagrass, uh, and Seagrass oh, yes, is. Yes. Mm-hmm. Even more famous yep. than them. Yeah, they're big. But, they're like the mainstream idol group. Yeah, yeah. But, but he... <laughs> oh, he, yes, he is he kind is of a die, too. A, a die-hard fan of <gasps> Asahi. Yes. Mm-hmm. And and it like his story goes like, yeah, he was a normal guy. He, yeah. he had friends. He was really good at school. But yeah. just one day, pretty much, boom, depression hit. Right. And he didn't find a way out until he started listening to Asahi's songs. Yeah. Then he became an idol. And yeah. Mm-hmm. He was like, hey, I, I want to do what Asahi does. Yeah, he emulated her. He wanted to be then like her. Asahi dies. Mm-hmm. He pretty much, th- that, that was his antidepressant. Right. And then like, and Well, oh, at that time, he did become an idol. Um, but yeah, it's like, he did that in order to be like her and and maybe eventually meet her, but after that happened, he couldn't. Yeah, he, and, so, and, and the thing like he yeah. he kept having like the same I mean the same idol attitude because like no yeah. probably there's people that I'm helping now, so I'm just gonna be all happy, right. but right. like deep inside he like he regrets that he was he, like empty again. Yeah, until he for some. Uh, destiny, some sort of destiny. Like oh, yes. he catches uh, Niyoro's performance. He's like, "Yeah, hey, I know those movements." Yeah, like, <laughs> he he's he like, like analyzes and he's and moving his elbow ninety, 90 uh-huh. degrees and his legs forty five degrees. That's almost the same as a sai. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. That, that was like the eccentric part. Oh yes, and he starts making a blog like, yep. Like a hater, <laughs> yeah, right. But turns so, like, out that him and he's a that, cat. <laughs> yeah, that uh, the uh, Nigoros uh, fans are so much more eccentric <laughs> that they're taking those they, all that criticism into right. a good thing, and they're yeah, like, and "This guy loves love Nigoro," <laughs> yeah, and they think they like his the fans of Nigoro think. This guy who made the the blog of like criticizing him and like and 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 claiming that he's plagiarizing, they think like he is the number one fan for yeah. doing exactly that. Yeah. So that's like, how, that oh, shows this, how eccentric they it, are. Like, this guy is, <laughs> is so showing weird. all the things that that our god Yara can improve. Yeah. yeah, we love this guy. Oh Who is this? Is yeah. he making this blog? Is like, oh yeah, he's doing gosh. all of this wrong. He is not. Like right, he's not having like a big smile for fans. Yeah, he's, like, he's hey. cutting corners on this one move where he should be doing this instead. And all yeah, the fans are like, exactly. hey, check this guy's page out. It's, like, <laughs> it's great. All the information that we've never had of me oh, is right. there. Is <laughs> like all compiled. Yeah, because like they're because like they're um, sharing to other people about 
parts and pieces of of how great he is but yeah this blog makes it so much easier yeah isn't I mean, it I, so I, weird i think we can like, learn a thing of two about that fandom you know yeah it's it's like like i i, I don't know like it totally puts it over uh like it puts it on its head because it's like normally you idolize the best or the perfect uh performers were the ones who bring the best performance yeah but then like for them to like the one who doesn't do that or doesn't fit the mold of the mainstream he also idol seemed, he also seemed more approachable you know maybe that's it and, and that's why maybe that's, that's why. why whenever yeah. asahi was behind the wheel that was the uh, the god mark is yeah, now like, god mode. yeah he seems some ritual he's like right. smiling he's super energetic he's dance he's a, movements he, he is like an idol now are like a pro and <laughs> huh and okay. regular nijoro he's oh, like, right he's not like that but they still love him yeah he's like yeah, yeah that that's huh. that's her guy he's like he could be in the neighborhood and we could say like, hey, how you doing? And he'll like, whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe. They're like, yeah, that's a, <laughs> yeah. That's a person we maybe. can relate to. <laughs> maybe that's why. Huh. But yeah, yeah, yeah I, I think it, we can learn a thing of two funny. about that fandom. It's like, Absolutely. the way that you manage <laughs> the, those hate comments that Ooh. ultimately made... Ah made the number one fan really become a fan <laughs> <laughs> oh right because during that time that's when they have like real deep discussions on uh like what is the point of being an idol like Satu Satu uh Satuchi kun is like challenging Nyoto. he's like whenever he meets him he's like uh are you not really being an idol? Like this isn't your best, but then, um, yeah, it over time he, he kind of learns. Yeah, Nyoto is an idol. Yeah, he kind of being is, himself. He's putting stereotypes on, on him, labels of yeah. how he should be, mm -hmm. and then, then he's like, no, because <laughs> huh. even yeah. even Nyoto is like, wait, you're. You were Asahi's fan. That's okay. Right, like, that's okay. Can you be a fan of of more idols? Yeah. And, and that, that that was like and that's like sacrilege. It was like, right, right. That's unthinkable. Like <laughs> how would it's you so say that? Like, freaking funny. Right. And like and Nyoto, he has no idea. Like, he thinks that's totally fine. Like, yeah, you can idolize this person as an idol, and you can idolize me as an idol like that's okay but the yeah um and and probably probably that that's like the point of idols at least in anime mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. like yeah you you have to devote yourself right to to one mm -hmm. like you can like the others like yeah, yeah. the others are, are fine but yeah but like the, actually the, support but the one that you can like support support mm. the most is like these ones and, and yeah. we've had that before like in love live oh we did yeah We're like oh yeah like nico <laughs> eh. oh yes <laughs> nico like she uh, idolized uh arise yeah uh, yes yeah <laughs> or, or in superstar mm -hmm. uh kiki idolized the the two girl group and mm -hmm. they're like no no because like we're, we're in the competition to... exactly they're not my idols anymore they're my rivals it's like <gasps> ah so it was kind of like that mindset, like, yeah, you yeah. know what? It's okay to be a die hard fan. Yeah. Like those eccentric fans, but it's also okay to be like a casual fan liking all of them. Mm. Which sometimes for fans is is hard, you know? Oh, oh well, <laughs> oh well, right, right. <laughs> Just like logistic purposes in itself. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, we, we, were, yeah. we were talking before recording, we were talking about some fan bases in some other areas oh, yes. so, so it's like yeah yeah. I mean, yeah because it is that like if if you are a fan then can you like still be a fan of something uh else like that right but like and then like is that okay kind of a thing yeah exactly yeah the only thing that i didn't like and this is also 
kind of like a my thing. Mm-hmm. It was ten episodes. I, I believe they they could oh, okay. have they could have made it a uh, more, but mm-hmm. at the same time, that also made it not very predictable. You know, because a lot of times, mm-hmm. and okay. for some animes, yeah, and and again, me having watched so many animes oh, i'm already yes. turning to the thing that i swore not to become <laughs> of like oh in oh, this sure. anime this is gonna happen oh right right so or like this is too predictable so well i yeah you know, I, mean, I, could, cause... I could see that sometimes when i watch too uh like 12 episodes right you have a certain amount of time for that specifically for ones that are like 23 24 minutes long but then if it is like broken up into sections say like three arcs and each one is like four episodes long then yeah maybe they don't go to nationals or they don't right. do one specific thing that they were working towards or or like Looking yeah, towards... or like if they if they lose in nationals yeah. on like the first season, then yeah. second season they're gonna win their ticket to nationals or something like that, right? Right, right. And that arc is like it will play out because you know the type of anime it is, and it will play out in the last two episodes or whatever. Yeah. So it's and, like, and in okay, this one, I, okay. I like that uh, I mean I didn't like that it was an episode, but I like yeah. at least the story progression. Because I'm gonna right. be honest with you, I uh-huh. I thought that Asahi was going to go to heaven Ooh, on well, the twelfth episode, right? And well, then well, like I thought the second I was or, or third episode she was going to heaven, and he, and the right. and the girl was like, wait, 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 wait what's happening right. here? Like, where, right. where are you going? And, and that's the prediction. <laughs> well, because that's what was built in the first two or three episodes. Yeah, where like, it's oh, like she be, uh, was like, gonna fade away. Like an idol one last time. Like kinda like yeah. that was her lingering regret. It's like yes. as soon as she would she would uh com- fulfill that fulfill dream. that like she she could pass on. Exactly. Like we were talking about in the in the other the kaleidoscope yeah. anime. Yeah, exactly like that. I thought so too. That's the norm. They fulfill their dream, they ascend or move on. Um, since they're ghosts, like ghosts aren't supposed to be on Earth. Yeah, and, and <laughs> like, if, if they are, the it's like it's because they ghosts. need to do something. Exactly. Yeah, and and so yeah, that, that was. Yeah. That and, was, and they didn't do that in this one. Yeah, that was one she of the things that I like. It's like and it she was about to fade out, and the guy yeah. was like, "Hey, oh yeah, you're not dungeon. You listen to me. Yeah, <laughs> like he kind of like is, for it, it. is it enough for you?" For one day, and, and you, she's like, oh. "You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna like keep going, right? Like you're gonna be the best title. Didn't we say that we were gonna be the best title?" And right. He's like, so he literally convinces her to stay. And he's in her voice was like, "I can't episodes. have this girl disappear on me right now. Who's gonna do my work?" <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's his. That's his reasoning at first. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I thought for sure it was gonna be a repeat. She would fade away 10th episode like i realized that is the finale and um for at least this season but yeah they didn't do it she's she's like still with him apparently yeah it did Ooh, but i do remember at the very very end one of the last frames of the 10th episode was see you again on the bottom right kind of like See you, Space Cowboy, in um, oh, really? Cowboy Bebop. You didn't see that? I saw the See You Again. I, we might have to show that in a picture. Okay, here. yeah. But, I'll, I'll definitely but yeah, to um, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it, it was kind of like different uh, that they didn't um, kind of like play to our expectations or yeah, it, was cliche in, in being predictable. Yeah, that, that is yeah. one of the things, and probably one of the other animes that I want to talk about, and I've talked oh. too much about it, it's uh, Shine Post. And oh, yes, so yes. I want to cover it. I, I do too, yeah. Because, it's, it's, I, I mean, good. those those animes were like, you don't know what's going to happen. I mean, you yeah. still have the base skeleton. Like we right. were talking it's about last idol. episode, like for like for Shonen or for or yeah. for Isekai. Like, yeah, you, you have 
you have the base skeleton for your yeah. anime. Exactly. And for idols, it's yeah, it's the same. You have always these overly energetic girls yeah. that may or might not have talent, mm -hmm. and that their dream is just to to bring smiles to to everyone, to have everyone love idols. Yeah, and like, that's a game. Yeah. But how's your storytelling? <laughs> Right, and right. What do you do yeah. to show those generic points of yeah. being an idol? Yeah. 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 So, so it's like we've said it several times. It's like mm -hmm. cliche is good, mm -hmm. but it depends how you tell those cliches. And I think that Phantom of the Idol did an excellent job mm. uh, giving the story of those cliches because it's like mm, you were okay. expecting those a lot of times but not oh, in the way right. that they were delivered okay okay gotcha yeah we'll we will yeah. have and, to and definitely it for sure. definitely the we fan will. base threw me off because i was like oh, really? what are these girls doing oh really <laughs> well <laughs> just, just like getting drunk well. at the end of the day after the concert and well just, just like talking about how amazing of an experience it was what <laughs> wait for wait is this shine post no no for like for uh oh. sorry, like like oh, the girls like oh. the, the fan girls oh okay 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 oh kind of like, yes 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 that was oh. a little different because it was it was super amazing <laughs> some miyoro in right. god mode god mode <laughs> and it's like oh what what lottery mode because even the waitress or, or, or like the or like the cooks in the <laughs> restaurants were like what the heck is wrong with these girls <laughs> that's right <laughs> they oh yeah they kept they kept like going over to the booth because she kept hitting her head again <laughs> Oh my goodness. You know, that was pretty different for an idol type of show. Yeah. Yeah, because you never focus in. You, you never you, you focus on the You fans. focus on the idols. Right, right. That, that's what different. the anime is all about. And, yeah. But this one, that was the fresh part. Like, yeah, that was pretty fresh. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, yeah, you, you have how these, these fans experience the concerts or like yeah. how much they mean to them. I'm like, yeah. yeah. That, that was that was so weird and so great at the same time. Oh, that is true. That's true. I love that. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, I think. Oh yeah. Well, thanks for joining with us on another episode of Jobless Weaves, talking about another idol anime, Kamikuzu. Yeah, idol. this is definitely not the last anime uh, idol anime that we're gonna cover. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it's gonna be that in the list right under the Love Live one <laughs> that we that's, did. That's right. Oh, yep. well, but yeah, that, that was a good anime. We recommend you to watch it. We do, just, yeah. It's a great one. I, I enjoyed it. Yeah, just just oh, pass yeah. that CGI barrier. <laughs> right. And, and you'll be good. Right. And yeah, it's it's definitely one, uh, one of the ones that maybe you uh, didn't trend or like wasn't like to in the limelight for this past season we did have some great ones so yeah that's probably okay but definitely give it a try it's i think i think i'd rate it thinking about it probably like an eight and mm. yeah I, I would also probably 7. give it like five eight like an eight or eight point five yeah strong like reckon recommendation to watch yeah it yeah. can like at least once yeah yeah. But uh, yeah, it's At that's least actually yeah. one of the shows that I, I would probably watch again. Sweet. Well, we'll see you later. Yeah, thanks and for thanks watching. For mm -hmm. And keep watching. Till next ya. time.